All right. So I have to verbalize this because everything is coming full circle now. But uh, I had to understand at the micro level what was going on so I can understand what is going on at the macro level. So this is for all my chemtrail activists out there, okay? Because you're like, well, how did, how did you, how are you not working with us anymore, Jillian? <laughs> I can just see that right now. People are saying that. I know they're saying this because I've, I've kind of slammed the chemtrail activists within the last, you know, couple years. And just got to, you got to understand the reasoning behind the, the global cooling, you have to realize the reasoning behind it. And what prompted me to say this <clears throat> is because when I went outside to go take my garbage can back indoors, I noticed how how uh, cloudy the weather is and then um, the prediction of some severe storms this Sunday. And I'm like, oh, shit. And I'm being like, oh, yeah, warm and cold come together and everything is a chain reaction of events. <clears throat> and so with the with the the global heating coming from a new virus a very aggressive virus i don't say new it's just a, a an offspring that is very aggressive causing so much infection in people because we have to cut down the population it is heating up the planet because the amount of, of people that are consuming and so when you are preempting an aggressive evolutionary cycle it's going to heat up the atmosphere it's going to heat up the surroundings so take it to the uh, your microbial level. Whenever I got exposed to some new variant within the last couple of years, I had the major hot flashes. I had to turn up my AC several times. My husband's like, what the heck? And I'm like, oh, it's just so hot. It's just so hot. And so when I was a chemtrail activist, because I was in the conspiracy world, and yeah, I came from the Alex Jones world, okay. And I was in Florida at the time. I was making the the pamphlets and saying, oh my gosh, chemtrails, oh my God, they're trying to kill us. Blah, blah, blah. And I was part of that for many, for many years. And so when you think about the chemtrail activists and then all the geoengineering that's going on, the, the system already kind of knew the system. Who, who's the system? They're architects of our society that know they have long range plans. They know how things work. And when they preempt something, they know the outcome. They've already done all the experiments. We have so many scientists out there working in the climate area, working in the climate industry, working in biotech, working in all the different utilities, um, fuel industry, gas and oil and all that. So they understand the bigger picture because yeah, Bilderberg, they have all the, the titans of industry come together and hang out and talk about how they're going to direct the planet and the people. And so they have a bird's eye view of uh, the you know problems and, and reactions and they also have the solutions. Though the solutions are not gonna be understood, the problems are not gonna be understood and the reactions are not gonna be understood. But how do you tell 7.9 billion people a long range plan when you have different people who have different levels of cognitive um, understanding of stuff so you know so you have to just roll out whatever and people are going to react to it and yeah I was one of those there were the activists out there going like look up in the sky look up in the sky holy crap look at those lines in the sky and you see me for years doing that okay so chemtrail chemical activists <laughs> chemtrail activists actually stupid autocorrect I'm going to correct that um Chem trail. Give me one second. Chem trail activists now hear this. Prepare for violent weather. So planet, plant, plane, plan. Okay, so there's a lot of planning in a planet. All right. So when you release a virus that will cause an evolutionary cycle called infection, 7.9 billion people will heat up the planet. And someone needs to counteract that with geoengineering called planetary cooling, terraforming, geoengineering. Go Google chemtrail activists, geoengineering. There's so many people who are against it, but they don't understand the bigger picture yet again. I get it. When I get exposed to a new virus and my body is producing proteins to upgrade 
and resist conflicting programming, my temperature raises, rises, whatever, rises, raises, Jesus, my temperature, jeez, my English is horrible right now. My temperature rises, okay? And that's what's going on right now. And so you almost have to think that, yes, this virus is almost like it's planned because it, they've been preparing for it. They who, the system, the, the Bilderberg, they're not bad, okay? Bilderberg is not bad. You guys got to stop slamming Bilderberg. They are the intelligence of our society. So then my temperature rises, I need to turn up the AC. This is why the geoengineering, 7.9 billion people dealing with infection called global warming. Humans and their imbalances are heating up the planet. Look at the activists, look at your own infection and look at rampant consumption. When you're buying all of your cheap goods from China, guess how many factories are pumping up so many pollutants in the air to make your little cheap good from China? So salt water is clean burning. That's why Japan is releasing radiation into the ocean. Yes, upon initial contact, the life in there are going to be either dead or mutate from that aggressive upset of homeostasis. But eventually, the, the, the isotopes will disperse and the salt water will counteract all of those aggressive energy. But yes, the initial pouring is going to be a little aggressive. And so salt water is clean burning once you release the demons. But most people are at a deficit, are afraid of salt and water to release their demons and their infections and material consumptions are heating up the planet. And so what do you do when you want to counteract so much heat? Well, I turn up my AC. I maybe take, you know, some, uh, a washcloth with cold water and put it on my face. That was what I dealt with the last couple of years when I was dealing with this new virus that was in my world. And so it raised up a lot of proteins. I had a lot of energy going on inside. So imagine 7.9 billion people exposed to a new virus and all their infection comes to the surface, their anger, their activism, the, the, the politics, religion, and science world are all in an uproar. People are taking to the streets. They're going to these conventions, the marches. And so that raises the aggressive energy in the atmosphere and everything is, is affected. And so when the planes go and try to cool things off from the heat, and then you have, of course, the, the, the positions of the sun and the planet and the water, you're going to have more aggressive storms. Okay? Until, until the imbalances level off. Until people finally figure it out or they pass away. <clears throat> you can't make 7.9 billion people figure it out. And so then you have to do things that are going to be very aggressive and it's going to be like a war. It's a Hunger Games. Only the strong are going to survive. Darwin is absolutely correct. Evolution is about the survival of the fittest. And so how long are we going to be in this kind of uproar, and uproar until we are, you know, down to whatever the Georgia Guidestone said, you know, from 7.9 billion to 500 million and that's like seven point something, seven percent of, 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 of that whole, yeah, of 7.9 billion is going to be left on the planet and the rest is going to be gone at some point. And so, yeah, so you have to understand why Bill Gates is the genius, but he is so hated because people don't understand the physics and the biology and the chemistry. I mean, we have made education so expensive that people don't get the full scope of things and they don't want to go and do their research because they're too busy reacting to everyone and everything that then, you know, again, you can't have the queen and, and the Bilderberg go into every person's house and explain to them the bigger picture because that's 7.9 billion people that are going to either resist you or hate you or and all the rumors around you that you just like forget it. And so I kind of feel bad for Bill Gates, but not really, because, you know, he's part of this bigger system that isn't telling people everything. But if he did tell them, would they believe it? Would they even care? Believe me, I've tried to explain to people, explain to people about salt and water and J-juice, and they're just like, no, you're stupid. You're killing people. You're doing this. You're doing that. And then, then you're just like, you know what? Screw it. What's the point? There's no point. I'm just going to roll everything out. I don't care what people think. And that's kind of, I think, where Bill Gates is at. 
And I completely understand. And so, and so you have to understand from the micro level what goes on with you because you are Mother Earth. You yourself is Mother Earth. And Mother Earth is you. And so then you see why the, the scientists have to find ways to, met, to play with the chemistry to keep Mother Earth alive and to keep the strongest humans alive and the strongest animals alive. And maybe even animals have to change with the simulation. And so, and so there's going to be some extinction with certain species. Okay, there'll be new species that'll come up. But I mean, I get it. Yeah, when, when there's planes that are that are going by and 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 and, and developing clouds and, and developing rain in different parts of the country, um, that is going to have a chain reaction. But there is a reasoning behind it because again, 7.9 billion people and their infection. And even before the COVID, we had the cold and flu season, and we had people just you know resisting any kind of change and then they're out there being an activist and and being stupid or committing crimes and how many agencies are we going to develop for people to handle their idiosyncrasies and then you start taxing the the population and they get tired of caring people who don't care caring like c-a-r-r-y-i-n-g and so when you get tired of caring people who don't care then you have to do something that's going to just level the playing field and that is an aggressive virus. And so I see how intricate this plan is, and it's not a bad thing, but you have to understand the bigger picture behind it, okay? And again, it, it, when, you're, when you're not told everything and you have to do your own research on your own, and if you don't have time to do it, then you're just gonna react and assume that that's the enemy. When actually you yourself are the one that's contributing to all of this mess. See, I know what I contribute to, but I didn't know. I had to, I actually had to take time and fight the, the I, had to, I had to fight for my lifestyle so I can take the time to understand why the system is doing what it's doing, why things react and act and react. I had to make myself get both sides of every argument that's out there. And then understand whether, you know, cold fronts and warm fronts and and then humans also are influencing the weather in the environment and and not just because of the factories and all that. It's also the green activists who are taking all their 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 different plant-based therapies and causing more infection in themselves and other people or whatever. And then then they are contributing to the the, the destruction of Mother Earth too. So that that's kind of the hypocrisy, which I understand they can't help it, but I get where they're going and where they're coming from, but. We all have to, 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 to take responsibility for our part in all of this and all of, of what is going on, why we have high inflation, why things are, the costs are being, are being inflated. There's, people say, yeah, it's corporate greed. Okay, maybe, maybe not. Then you have to readjust your own finances. Is that, that big mechanical toy worth it? You know, is putting, you know, I don't know. The, we have to question our, our, our consumption and we have to understand what is clean burning. Salt water is clean burning. Okay. And, and that's finally, I mean, that's, I think some of the scientists realize that and that's why they, they dumped, you know, that, that radiation in the ocean are going to dump it. And so that's why I'm not concerned about the radiation in the ocean from power plants, but you know, cause there's so much ocean. There's so much ocean that the, the salt water will disperse those radioactive isotopes. And that's why the potassium iodide or that sodium potassium iodide is used against to protect your thyroid against radiation exposure if you're exposed to a lot of radiation. And so, but then you don't want to be cured either. So that there's 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 two sides of that as well. But now I understand why they're doing the planetary cooling because we have 7.9 billion people exposed to aggressive virus that is supposed to then edify the strong and destroy the weak but during that process it's going to be highly 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 aggressive and highly energetic and and hot okay and you're going to have to survive it you're going to have to find a way to adapt and change through your lifestyle and your belief systems and all of that and stop looking up there and out there and start looking within because you are responsible for your own insides. Okay, so when I was thinking, when I was writing some stuff yesterday and I was thinking about um, relative 
uh, like pollution, what is what, what what is pollution? It's all relative to the concentric circles. So you have like maybe five concentric circles, and in between each layer is is an is is um is like a is like you can, like if you are like what is the inverse square law? If you're the center of that concentric circle, and there is something going on on the tenth layer of whatever the atmosphere, it's not really going to affect you. The closer it gets to you, it'll affect you, okay? But if it's further away, it's not really going to affect you. Yeah, you'll have to still upgrade relative to the, the strength of what's going on 10 layers away from you. But what you do on the inside of your body and what you partake in, the MLMs, the detoxes, not clean burning your own fuel inside, that is what is directly affecting your issues, why you have pain, why you have, are fighting a crazy fight with all these different viruses. It's not the planes, it's not the trains, not the automobiles. I mean, yeah, it is in some level, but but then, you know, that's why we have the, the, the green, you know, the green emissions and all that stuff. And so and so really it's what you it's what's going on inside of you and what you're doing on a daily basis when you are when you are, are partaking in the therapeutics and when you are um are are not dealing with your own infection and your own edification and 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 so there, there's so much to this, but the bigger picture is is that since we can't get 7.9 billion people on the same page, they're going to have to go and do stuff to counteract the heat that's being transmitted and transferred from the humans who are at a deficit, wailing and, and activism and and dealing with the virus as heating heating up their immediate atmosphere to then having to cool down and and I don't say block this. I don't know how you can block the sun. But it's it's cooling the planet off so that way the planet won't die from this evolutionary cycle. And so I understand the scientists where they're coming from on this level. Could they explain that to you on 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 on, on this level? They probably could, but then the then what they would say would raise more questions. Well, then they, did you know this is going to happen as far as this pandemic? And if someone if they said, well, we were planning to do this geoengineering because we know that 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 the planet is going to heat up and and it's going and now we know that that's going to heat up even more so when there's a new virus i don't know there's ways that they could explain it where it wouldn't allude to the fact that maybe this virus was planned but that's still speculative you'll never know but still 7.9 billion people who are all dealing with different infections and 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 out of control and have hormonal imbalances yeah that's going to affect your environment it's going to affect not only your house it's going to affect your garden. It's going to affect your community. It's going to affect your state, your continent. It's going to affect even the atmosphere in, in, in your in your world. Okay, we're not compartmentalized. We're not just these little hermetically sealed bubbles that are you know we are affected and we influence and we affect our environment every single freaking day. And when you're aging and degrading and you're not reversing the aging process, you're not releasing the demons, and you're not living a balanced lifestyle as far as your internal environment then you're going to cause then chaos <coughs> in your external environment because you don't understand what's going on at a bigger picture. You were taught only to react. You were listening to all the activists. But here's the thing. When you have 7.9 billion people and you have architects of developing evolution by bringing together the positive and the negative, you're going to have conflict. You're going to have the heat raising, the, the heat rising. You're going to have... Uh, just a lot of a lot of storms, not only in people's bodies, but storms out there. And so you just got to know that that when we are in some kind of evolutionary cycle where the positive and negative are coming together like this, and innovation, evolution, and storms are going to come out of that, you then have to prepare yourself to deal with and weather the storms inside and weather the storms out there. Listen for indicators. Watch your news. Watch, you know, even how they're programming the triggers in our society to get people to react because this whole Roe v. Wade shit that's coming up in, in June, you know, that's, that's going to happen is everyone's going to take to the streets, all the activists and the feminists, whatever, take to the streets and raise the temperature yet again. There's going to be another, another variant be developed from that new viral baby out of that. And there you go. And then that's going to cause more of the global warming, more of the heating up of not only people's bodies, but also the atmosphere. And then the planes have to go and cool down the planet because it's like putting air conditioning or turning up your AC or putting a wet 
cold washcloth over your face to just help you cool off from the heat. And so just cut your government some slack. Take care of you yourself because you're the ultimate one to, to keep the storms within at a, at, a, at, a, at a dull roar when you think about it. Forget what goes on out there when you think about it because there's nothing to do with you unless you make it your business. Mind your own business. Give people opportunity to to um, to do something different if you can even articulate that. But if you can't because you have conflicting programming in your gut, it'll be impossible for you to articulate that until you actually want to learn and understand the bigger picture. But you can't control what goes on out there. Let the government take care of what they need to take care of. Let other people make their own choices. Okay? And you reverse your own aging process. You deal with your own infection without causing chaos outside of your home. Okay? And when you go hang out with a bunch of people in this pandemic, you are contributing to the problem. Okay? And I and I get people don't want to not hang out with people. They want to be out there all the time. Well, then of course you're going to strengthen this this pandemic. You're going to strengthen the virus you're, you're going to heat up the planet even more and so again we are in this great reset we are in a major evolutionary cycle there's going to be storms within there's going to be storms out there in your community as far as the activists and there's going to be storms in the weather because again cold and warm that is going to be tornadoes hurricanes severe thunderstorms and you just have to adapt and weather the storms and protect yourself because you can't protect your neighbor. If your neighbor is in, in trouble and, and you can help them, okay, that's within your sphere of influence. But if not, then call somebody. But you protect yourself, your dog, your kids, if they're under your direct you know, influence, your husband and your wife and anyone that's in your family that's willing to listen to you. And if not, then you leave them alone. Because you can't legislate morals. No different than I can't save everybody in this universe. But I can offer some seeds of opportunity to understand the bigger picture and take from it what you will. But you are responsible for yourself. Okay? And be the example. All right, bye.